Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So my name is Amina Samara. I am a fourth year BS Economic Science student at Isaac Bhopal. So in my previous video, I got a lot of comments. No, a couple of comments about the department, the Economic Science Department of Isaac Bhopal, and how is BA Economics different from BS Economics, and how is the placements, and you know how is student teacher interaction, everything. So. This video is going to be the last video that you should watch about the Economic Science Department of Isa Bhopal. Everything I've got you covered. I've got all your answers about the research experience, the grading policies, the coursework and other perks of studying in a premier institute, everything. So watch the video till the end. And I've also attached all the link uh, in the description, the websites, the documents, everything that I mentioned will be, de will be mentioned in the description below. So go and check it out and that's it. The name of the course is BS Economic Science and the duration is 4 years. You can take an exit after that or you can stay for one more year and get a master's degree. Essentially that one year you will be doing your thesis that is a research project under a supervisor which will obviously be your professor, any of, it, any of the professors in the department. And as you can already get it, this course is a research oriented degree. Uh, where you will have a very extensive mathematical and theoretical and very very rigorous coursework and it can get very difficult sometimes i'm talking from experience but to your rescue there is highly there are highly qualified professors um, who has phds and postdocs and who are economics is not just the study of money markets or finance it is it is definitely but it's not just that it is way more than that it's about the deep web of you know human decisions resource allocation and uh, societal development you know the general development of society this is a discipline you know that blends art and science so it requires creativity yes in many levels so you should ask the right questions and you should have the rigor to find you know evidence based answers so if you are someone who aspires to be an academician you know to contribute to knowledge and to solve real world problems through a scientific lens you know what i mean then research and economics is your path. So it's a journey of curiosity, intellectual rigor and the pursuit of truth. Okay, next we look at the coursework and the grading policy and things like that. So on the screen you can see that these are the courseworks of the first two semesters. So I have said in my previous video that in ISAs usually the you know the first two years you have to learn all the subjects. That means you have to learn physics, chemistry, biology, earth science, mathematics, of course, mm -hmm. and you know some courses from engineering like Python or some some programming course. So why I, even even I have thought that why am I learning all these courses even though I am pursuing a major in economics? It is because you are actually by learning all these courses you are you are fostering a, you in, in you are developing a scientific temper, a scientific viewpoint, and you are honing your analytical abilities. And I've, I've, there was a comment in the previous video which said, what is the difference between BS economics and BA economics? This is the difference. Because in a normal state or central university, a normal BA economics course, you don't learn all these things. I mean, we don't know. It is debatable that if this is actually necessary or not to learn physics and chemistry being an economics minor, economics major, I'm sorry, major. But I think... Um, but in my personal opinion that learning all these things actually develops a lot of your skills knowingly or unknowingly so the core courses are principles of economics one principles of economics two then econometrics micro macro and game theory which is a very interesting course and then india in the world economy and international economics so these are the core courses and if you look at the departmental electives behavioral economics development economics industrial organization which we are having in my semester right now um mechanism design, applied production analysis in political economy and public finance, money banking and financial markets, time series analysis in micro and general equilibrium and welfare economics, all these courses. Also, I have also mentioned that these courses are subjected to change according to the availability of the professors. I mean, in different years or different batches, the courses offered might slightly differ, but in general, these are the courseworks and this is available in our website, but you don't have to go there. I will be attaching the link in the description just attaching the link in the description so you can just click and check okay if you want to know more the next is the grading policy okay about the grading policy it is usually relative 
but it can also be absolute. Again, it depends on the professor. So, what is the meaning of relative grading? I hope you guys know. If you don't know, it is if if one person in a class gets like seventy out of hundred, that means that person, if that is a highest mark, that person is in the hundredth percentile, and every other student in the class comes below it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we have a very 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 much continuous evaluation uh, quizzes mid semester exams in semester exams yeah in the first two years it's going to be slightly you know easier to cope with but in third and fourth year it will get difficult so if you are ready to put in hard 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 work then come to isa in third and fourth years you will mostly have research oriented work meaning that you will be asked to read the research articles and papers you know published papers and then interpret the results and you will have presentations term papers and as usual mid semester exams and end semester exams and things like that so yeah we have a credit system that's also there and one most most important thing is cgpa or we call it cpi here cpi matters i mean when i was when i came here i actually it took like 2 2 years for me to understand what how actually the cpi system works i'm i'm telling you guys now itself if you are getting into a college from the very first semester on what's work hard i mean after getting the momentum you can relax and chill a bit but in the we all have a tendency after getting a college to relax but don't do it from the very first semester itself you have to work really hard and next about the internships so yes uh, you have to do internships when do you do internships you have vacations Yes, we have a three-month summer vacation and one-month winter vacation. So, uh, usually it is utilized by students for doing internships. Although it's not mandatory, it's not graded, but you mostly everybody will do internships during the summer vacations. Um, it can be anywhere. For example, I've given you know like it, this is just a few examples. There are a lot of opportunities for internships. For example, Niti Aayog, Reserve Bank of India internship, in IITs and ISAs, you know, academic internships. at NITs and IISC I have done an internship at NIT Calicut and also in campus internships that means you can also do internship inside here as a local under your own professors yeah and you can do reading projects and other stuff like that to you know to get accustomed to the learning environment of as a local also you can also do corporate internships but if you are very very smart yeah and very very passionate about it i'd say it is not impossible you can do it and if you are someone who think that you don't want to do an internship don't do an internship you can choose not to do an internship and go home and take rest you know and watch some chill movies and probably get your driver's license and totally your choice yes talking about movies i am going to suggest you a couple of movies flash documentaries every every, every uh, aspiring economist should watch so these are the movies the big shot margin call inside job wall street american factory moneyball yeah these are some suggested you if you if you're really passionate about like knowing the yeah you can watch these movies yeah and about research experience so research experience um yeah, i have i have been part of a research paper which is actually i've been accepted for publication i've given it here so this is the paper um If you are interested, you can go and read it. It's it's available on the internet. So this is one of the papers, and on the right side you can see that this is a working paper. It was a project that we did in the last semester about the you know the pension scheme. Yeah, we have done a project on it, and we have submitted it to the SSN, SSRN. I'm sorry, SSRN is a social science research network, and we have submitted it as a working paper. What is what is the meaning of working paper? That we have not yet done with the work of the paper. We are. working on it still yeah and we have submitted it and uh, yeah if we finish if we when we complete the work we will submit it for publication hopefully it will get published so you will definitely get research if you are i mean like nobody will bring things to you you have to go and seek and like talk to your professors or somebody outside like email your professors and saying that if you want any tutorial or anything about how to cold mail professors or companies for internships or things like that uh, tell me in the comments if you want a video on how to do that also if you want a video about how to start if you're someone who doesn't know about linkedin 
if you want a tutorial about that how to start a linkedin profile how to create it and how to make it um you know uh, in a way where you can like network with a lot of people in your area and things like that if you want it tell me in the comment section yeah also there is a very very big chance for interdisciplinary research if you know what that means interdisciplinary research means you can actually if, even if you are an economics major or if you are another major you can actually like collaborate with another department and like and learn like that or do an internship in that way or 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 there is an opportunity for getting a minor degree a minor degree uh, if you complete the requirements and take up courses you can also get a minor degree along with your major degree for example if you are an economic science major you can have a data science minor that is uh, yeah you will have some requirements some credits some courses that you will have to take from that department then you will be given a minor degree so you can possibly get a minor degree in data science or other engineering departments earth and environmental sciences humanities and social sciences even maths physics chemistry or even biology if you want it you can do it and nobody stopping you and i would suggest the best for economics students would be a data science minor which will help economics students with um, you know developing things related to machine learning artificial intelligence and develop something in computational economics you know I mean you will you you might not actually understand what i'm talking about but you will when you reach this point but to have a long vision to to think about it like years i mean if you are a school student if you are in school right now you can think about all these things i mean it's you 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 cannot look for a job once you're done with your degree and now i'm done i'll look no you have to start doing things before so if you are a student who's watching this you're doing the right thing so although there are placements happening yes oh, this 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 picture which i've attached is from the placement brochure of 2023 2024 which i've obviously included in the description box you can check it out there are also other things in that um, placement brochure you can check that out so about placements there are placements happening but it's but you know what when you once you come to iser and you understand the coursework and the kind of learning environment that we have here you will realize that you are asking the wrong question you will realize that you are being trained to be a researcher an academician you know rather than a corporate girl or boy you know what i mean so that's that's where this is going that's that's the kind of um you know the the training that your professors and the courses that you're learning are giving you then you will you know you will naturally ask yourself that okay uh, what you will you will you will think about you know you you should have this you should be ready when you come to iser you should be ready to to sit in the library for hours and hours on one theory to to deeply understand it and you know develop things on that i hope you understand what i'm talking about that's that's what is being given here and not a training to become a corporate baddy so and then and the question which comes next is then what next so again this picture is from the placement brochure so what actually happens here is uh, a lot of people very very thankfully go for phd's phd's in indian institute of management iits nits or even abroad you can go all these you can go to all these places for research i mean there are stipends there are scholarships available and secondly you can become a policy maker how can you become a policy maker you can join think tanks or other research institutions for as a research associate or a research assistant and analyze different you know policies and work or you can work for the government by clearing the indian economics service examination ies exam or the rbi exam uh, if you want more information about that tell me in the comment section also you can appear for gate exam iit jam all these exams for your masters you can also do your masters after taking a bs exit and if you if you are if you find scholarships or if you are financially okay with that you can do a masters abroad in colleges like you know london school of economics yale ucla i mean i'm just giving examples there are many many colleges many many infamous gems gems means in in infamous very good in famous colleges you can find and you can go for masters or if you want to change your track from pure economics to some kind of management course you can appear for cat and do an mba so the so those who are asking about placements and things 
my answer for you is if you if you're looking or if you're purely if you're looking for a purely corporate job please do not come to iser this is not the right place for you and if you look at the oh look at the closing ranks so from this picture you can actually understand that it is more difficult to get the economic seat rather than the natural science seat see the the rank is very high in recent years it has become increasingly competitive yes yes so work hard okay and talking about the other perks of studying in a premier institute uh, you have a very very beautiful campus which is perfect for a nice walk when you're stressed out and you have a very decent library and uh, obviously very very decent hostel and mess facilities and also you have very flexible schedules that's one important thing you know, some days you have like 2 hours class some other days you have 5 hours class so it's not that every day from morning till evening you are forced to sit in you know the classroom nothing like that um, it's very flexible uh, that's another thing and you have facilities for sports and other extracurricular activities also you have access to databases and subscriptions you know using your iserb email id for example grammarly office 365 and also you have access to online journals yeah and and last thing would be you have a ragging free campus so don't worry about anything like that and another thing is um yeah you will have seminars and talks by top academicians and professionals from inside and outside india and did you know that in our last convocation our finance minister came here you know nirmala sitaraman came here so this kind of exposure you get is yeah obviously unparalleled and you won't get it anywhere else